everyone, it's Finnovation. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Seo device macro pad. The obvious question is... The obvious question is, is it worth your money? Well, in this video, I'm going to be answering that question. And for any of you who don't know what a macro pad is, it's basically like this. It's a mini keyboard where if I press a button on it, I can program it to say like, hello or something. So I can press a button, types hello. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so here's a quick review of the actual macro pad. So first off, um, it seems to be made of like this plexiglass. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe it's real glass, not sure. Um, but it seems to be just some like maybe clear plastic. Then on the top, we've got another layer of that, but this time it's like frosted. Um, would work great with some RGB, but it does not have any. Um, then if I take off a keycap, oh, well, the switches come out really easy. That also shows that it's hot swappable but the switches are some just regular old like red switches. They don't seem to be of any um, prominent name brand. Uh, they are a bit scratchy. They come unlubed, but um, so essentially the switches, I mean, they're not great, but if you're just expecting a macro pad, that's exactly what you get. Um, now on the top, it does have two ports, which is kind of nice because if you want the macro pad facing like this way and the cable coming out that way, you can do that or if you want the cable coming out that way, you can also do that. So it's nice that they did include that. And um, again, pretty much everything about this is really um, easy to take apart. And like, you know, you can take out the switches, change them. It's hot swap, you can unscrew the whole thing. It's, I don't know, I think the actual uh, hardware is pretty nice. There is an instructions sheet in the box to show you how to get the software. Um, it was a little bit confusing, but if you follow their steps exactly, um, then you should be able to get it figured out. I had no problems. Um, the only thing you have to do is you type in the link up top and then you just follow the directions on the sheet. Um, and then the software was pretty easy to configure. The only thing that um, I was kind of confused by, if you want your macro pad to say something that's more than like three characters, so like three letters, you have to um, go and create like a like password and um, type whatever word you wanted in like the little password setting and then say it to type in like password one. So for example, I'd set password one to like, hello. Then I can uh, set key one to password one, press key one and it would type hello. All right, so I just took apart the macro pad and as you can see, it comes in a few layers and I'm gonna be modding it. So first off, um, I took this bottom piece which goes under the PCB um, or the circuit board and what I did is I took some foam and I cut out some slits. So like these are just foam um, that I put in there. And essentially what that's going to do is dampen the sound a little bit. Then on the bottom of the um, circuit board or the PCB, I put some masking tape. This also helps create a little bit of a better sound. And um, then all I've got to do now is put it pretty much just back together, stack it back up and screw it together. All right, so I swapped out the switches. These bottom ones are just the stock ones, and the top ones are a ice cream switch, which is a combination of a novel key cream and a water cake. All right, now after changing all the switches and um, making it sound better with all my mods, um, I think it sounds pretty good. Um, I'll go give a sound test later, but pretty nice. Let's get into the sound test. All right guys, so here's a quick sound test after the mods. I think it sounds pretty good um, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The software works great and I can press keys and instantly type whatever I want. Well, that sums up this video and I hope you enjoyed. But I sure do like my little macro pad keyboard. I've actually got a keyboard joke. Oh boy. I dropped a crumb on my keyboard. Don't worry though, it's under control. Aw, oh, that was terrible. Whatever, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!